Healthcare authorities in Israel allegedly use a racist policy against women of color to reduce the number of their babies. Israeli women's groups say government centers prescribe long-term birth control drugs to women of color. Medical centers use the contraceptive Depo-Provera as a birth control method. A recent report says 57% of Depo-Provera users in Israel are women of color, while they make up less than 2% of the total population. Reports show people of colour in Israel face widespread discrimination in work, housing and education. Randy Short with the Dignity, Human Rights and Peace Organisation is with me now via Skype from Washington. Let's get his thoughts uh, on the situation there. Uh, Mr Short, thank you very much for being with us. Of course, we have been hearing recently a lot of reports coming about the situation of uh, African Americans or black people uh, who are uh, living in Israel. What can you tell us about the situation they're facing and how basically threatening it is? Well, the, the situation is that uh, you've got a contradiction. You have people, the Ashkenazi, who are descendants of the Khazars who dominate Israel, who were converts to Judaism, and at the same time you have people who are the original descendants of the people who lived in Palestine, who live in Ethiopia and other places, trying to return to Israel. And so you have basically a racist mythological concept of who and what a Jew is in control and persons who actually are what Jews are, who are subordinate. Uh, they're trying to reach Israel and Israel in some ways opened up its its citizenship to Africans to counter the attacks that they got for supporting the uh, Nazi South African portrait regime. So they have more or less outlived their usefulness to uh, Israel to deflecting all the allegations that it had supported uh, racism and brutality against people in South Africa. After all, we need to remember that uh, Israel was established following the Holocaust, and there's been this big push to make certain that they got this land and other things because they had been persecuted everywhere, more or less based on moral suasion. So Israel faces the challenge that it needs to show that it's a moral nation on a certain level to exist because it was created as a homeland for Jews. And so this issue of racism, now that they have uh, blacks, uh, I have a friend, Cynthia McKinney, when she was in jail trying to uh, make a, a Gaza boat lift, the jails are full of Africans. They've got mm -hmm. a prison camp in Sinai. There were riots last year. You have people like Afgador Lieberman, who's disgraced himself, but you have very racist people in the Knesset who hate blacks, who hate Africans. And many people are not aware, but, uh, one of the greatest uh, Jewish scholars, Mamadines, felt that uh, people who were black were essentially apes or just above monkeys. This is the most revered person in modern Judaism, doesn't even see blacks as hmm. humans. So oh. can you imagine that? And he wrote yeah. it down. They, they can get mad at me, but uh, I think it's a guide for the perplexed. If people read that, so if some of the guiding people, the ideologies of Zionism, see people as subhuman, uh, then, then how are they going to treat people once they reach that society? So they're poor, they're homeless, they're discriminated against in terms of how uh, they're paid, and or they're put on the front lines to face uh, confrontation with the Palestinians. Right, it, and Mr. Short, if I could just jump in here quickly because we're short of time. Uh, we're now hearing, according to statistics, that about 60,000 African immigrants are in Israel, and most of them are coming from countries like South Sudan, Eritrea, the Ivory Coast, Congo, and th these are, of course, countries which do have a lot of problems. They're basically trying to flee the situation of the violence in their own country. But what is the fate of these, uh, what Israel calls infiltrators, I'm quoting, what will be their fate? Uh, a lot of them are in prison and a lot of them are waiting to be uh, thrown out of Israel Some as well. Some of them are getting their organs harvested and other things that are happening to them. But I want to say in Congo, uh, Israel gets the diamonds. A lot of these countries are being looted by Western nations and Israel is a part of it. 
Um, and so these people tend to go to the nations that are stealing their wealth, trying to make a living where it's peaceful there. I just want to mention the drug that the people are using is Depo-Provera. It causes cancer, contributes to AIDS and chlamydia and osteoporosis, and it's been illegal in Canada and Europe, but it's being used all over Africa. It's being used on African-American women by the Pfizer Corporation. They know that it kills. They know it sterilizes. They know that it destroys people. And Bill and Melinda Gates are raising almost $3 billion to impose this drug all over Africa. God knows how many women it's going to kill and destroy and sterilize. This is wicked. Right. And Israel's showing that it's no more righteous than any nation that it, it came into existence to repudiate. Thank you very much. Mr. Randy Short with the Dignity Human Rights and Peace Organization with us there via Skype from Washington.